we want to determine the equation of the tangent line to f of x equals four x minus seven square root x at the point four comma two. To find the equation of the tangent line, we will first need to determine the slope of the tangent line by determining the derivative function and then evaluating the derivative function at x equals four. Before we find the derivative function though, let's rewrite the square root of x using a rational exponent. The square root of x is equal to x to the power of one half. So the given function f of x can be written as f of x equals four x minus seven times x to the power of one half. And now let's work on determining the derivative function. f prime of x is equal to the derivative of four x, which is four, minus the derivative of seven x to the power of one half, which is seven times the derivative of x to the power of one half, which is one half, times x to the power of one half minus one. Simplifying, we have four minus seven halves x to the power of negative one half. Let's write this using a positive exponent. This is equal to four minus seven divided by the product of two and x to the power of positive one half. And we can also write x to the power of one half as the square root of x. And let's go ahead and do that. We will use a derivative in the form of f prime of x equals four minus seven divided by the product of two and the square root of x. Now that we have the derivative function, we can determine the slope of the tangent line at the point four comma two by evaluating the derivative function at x equals four. So the slope of the tangent line m is equal to f prime of four, which is equal to four minus seven divided by the product of two and the square root of four. Simplifying, we have four minus seven divided by, well the square root of four is two, two times two is four, giving us four minus seven fourths. If we write four as a fraction with a denominator of one, the least common denominator is going to be four. We would multiply the numerator and denominator by four, which gives us 16 fourths minus seven fourths, which is nine fourths. This is the slope of the tangent line. And we also know the tangent line passes through the point four comma two. So we can find the equation of the tangent line using point slope form or slope intercept form. Let's first use point slope form. So using the point slope form of a line, which is y minus y one equals m times the quantity x minus x one, where m is the slope and x one comma y one is any point on the line, we would have y minus two equals m, which we know is nine fourths, times the quantity x minus x one, where x one is four. So this would be the equation of the tangent line if we're allowed to give the equation in point slope form. If we were asked to give the equation in slope intercept form, we would distribute nine fourths and then add two to both sides. So let's also show that. Distributing nine fourths, we have nine fourths times x, which is nine fourths x, and then minus nine fourths times four, which just gives us nine. And then to solve for y, we would add two to both sides. Simplifying, we have y equals nine fourths x minus seven. So again, if it doesn't specify which form of the linear equation to use, if the form is acceptable, because the equations are equivalent. Let's verify this result graphically. The graph of f of x is the blue curve. Four comma two is this point of tangency. Notice how the red line is tangent to the curve at the point four comma two. We can also tell from the red line that the vertical intercept is negative seven. Let's also verify the slope is nine fourths. If we start at the vertical intercept, notice how if we go up nine units, positive two, and then write four units. We do find another point on the tangent line. Verifying the slope of the tangent line is nine fourths. I hope you found this helpful.